God, it's good to see you again. You haven't been here in a long time. I know, I know. I've been missing in action. I know. It's, it's, like, it's like five years. When you, last time I saw you, you were quitting this to head off to college. Uh, I went to college for two and a half years. Now I'm a college dropout like Bill Gates. And for the last two years, I've been doing seven films. <laughs> well, like Bill Gates? I like that. Well, that, you have to, you know, take everything in straw. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Also like Larry McCrelly. Who I don't know. Exactly. Drop out of college. <laughs> of course. Yes, exactly. Well, I might, you know, you can pick one or the other. <laughs> All right. Are you going to go back and finish, do you think? Uh, all of my friends have graduated, and I made such wonderful friends. I think if I went back, uh, I'd be kind of lonely, but my little brother, uh, he's 17 and a half, and he's the greatest thing on the planet, and um, he just got into Princeton. Wow. And he's really... Yes, isn't that wonderful? And um, he's so smart, and I think I might take maybe some classes there with him secretly when I go and visit him and annoy him, and maybe I'll seduce all of his professors so that he maintains, like, a straight... A average. Oh, wow. That's my plan. How'd you like to get back on this show? <laughs> well, how did I get back on this show? <laughs> well, that's, that's, it remains to be seen. But now, <laughs> now, I know you're in New York now. You got the apartment and you're doing that whole thing. I did. I just uh, bought an apartment in New York and okay. I moved in. And, uh, Furnished? No, I just have a mattress. I have a Tempur-Pedic mattress, which is my first time with, you know, that, you know, it's a spacecraft thing and your body digs into it and oh. that's all I have in there. I'm not, I haven't decided whether I really like it or not. Like and what? The mattress? The or mattress. The oh, okay. I like the apartment, but the mattress right. is to be decided and I got a couch um, from Italy and it hasn't arrived yet. I've been waiting for three months for this oh. magical. Why is it taking so long, Jay? You're Italian, you correct? I am Italian, so obviously I should know about Italian couches. Um, <laughs> um, did you pay for the couch first? I know. I actually, I, I did it in installments because I knew that this would be a better, better you know, way to get the couch You know, Italian guy's going to go, you know, the bowl with your couch sunk. We got this couch over here. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> what, are there no couches available in America? I no, thought we had a number of couches. No, this beautiful couch. I fell in love with this couch. But what, why? What was it about? Was it the fabric? Was it the, the design? What was you it about? Can, you can stand up and fall on it, and it still has a beautiful, clean line. But it's really, really it's, the whole thing is made with, you know, feathers. So you get drunk a lot in the apartment, apparently. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, well, there's, you don't have to drive. You know, you can walk around in New York. But all okay. I have is a mattress. So when my friends in New York, I'm a new single girl in my apartment, come over, okay. all I would have is a mattress. Wow, that's, so that's all great, you need when you're a single situation. girl in New York. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the rent's paid. Now, I've got to ask you something. Now, I heard you got robbed. Is that true? What happened? Well, I went uh, to the apartment to, sorry, I went to Macy's with my mom to buy some glasses and silverware right. to fill my unfurnished apartment okay. and I went to the knife section and I was thinking um, I, I'm not a very good cook but I wanted to maybe take some cooking classes and learn I, I like look all proper today in the cooking classes but yeah. I want to take some cooking classes and learn how to cook and you know chop up vegetables properly and things like that right. and I was in Macy's in the knife section which you'd think would be a very safe section of Macy's right. because high security with the really sharp uh, professional chef knives and I had my purse in a cart and it got stolen. And then when they reviewed the security tapes afterwards, uh, they found out that two little boys, like actual little boys, stole my cart from me. The whole this cart? Is, pushed yeah, the whole cart? This is what a like, strong New Yorker I am. They took my purse and the cart and everything, and they took Clinique. I had Clinique products in the cart. And it was my first time with a Macy's cart. And there, I still have to pay the payments for the wait, items no, wait, that wait, were wait. stolen by the little, little boys. Had the you Macy's. paid for the items in the cart yet? Uh, I, had, I purchased them, but they were stolen in the Macy's. Oh. Uh, they, the little boy stole my okay. clinique and okay. my cart. I, I mean, I was robbed. I was born in New York. I should be, like, tough and not robbed in You should know not to leave your purse in a cart in New York. I know. Yeah, that's not really smart. No, and I you know. never got your purse back? I never got my purse back. Oh. But the garbage men that worked at the Macy's were really sweet on the outside, and they had a search for it. And all the security guards um, mm -hmm. at the front entrance uh, kept coming up to me and recognizing me from the glass house. Okay. And they kept saying, hey! And I kept saying, you found my purse. I was running around frantically. And they said, no, but you're great in the glass house. No, oh, well, that's not And they, like, they said, we wish we were there when it happened. And I said, I wish you were there, too. Wow. Are you dating anyone now? You're no, I'm single. You're single? Mm -hmm. oh, now, what are you looking for? Maybe I can help you out. Uh, <laughs> tall, dark, and handsome, smart, and funny. Hey. Case closed. <laughs> Right, so it's just you and you and the mattress. I know how he feels about the pigs, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. So, have you ever yeah. been, to a, have you ever been to a? Uh, <laughs> have you ever been to a state fair? Uh, I've never been to a state fair. Oh, no. you haven't lived. Eating a but giant when I was a little like... girl, I wanted a wild boar as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, but I have a dog now, and her name is Nina Simone, and I used to well, not be a little dog. Do you know there's an actual singer named Nina that's Simone? What, that's what she's named. Oh, actually. okay. No, I, it, it, wow. The, the, uh, why? Obviously, you're a Nina Simone fan. I'm a huge Nina Simone fan. And would that be insulting or a compliment if you meet Nina Simone? Hi, you know, my dog is named Nina. <laughs> well, a friend, a friend of my family's, their, their dog is named Lily, so. Oh, okay. So and I'm that, okay with that. Now, is it a dog or is it a girl dog? Is it a <laughs> Those little yappy, annoying uh, dogs. I don't like those little. I, whenever I would see a girl with one of those little dogs, I would really like cringe. Hills. No, I, I, I don't like yeah. it. It just it's too whiny and. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, good. oh that's oh, it's good, really good, good. awful, really so, terrible. So it's a good like, size. You know, in coming to America, there's the girl, and he says like bark like a dog, and she goes. You know what I'm talking about? All right, yeah, yeah. That, well, I think it's awful. That the little <laughs> well, it barking. Well, depends how kinky you are, but yeah, okay. Sure, yeah. So, I'm personally into that kind of thing, but hey, whatever you want. Well, I trained, I trained my dog. Kind of, I read this article about how the children of deaf parents um, don't cry as much, and they like move their arms more and hit things, because that what um, that's what they get the attention from their parents when they like hit things and mm -hmm. move around. And uh, I trained my dog in that way so that when she would bark unnecessarily or, or would whimper, I would ignore her. But if she came up to me and like licked me, then I would, you know, pay attention to her. And even though she's a little dog, uh, she's really scraggly and I cut her and groom her myself so she doesn't have like ribbons or any of that crap oh, okay. in her hair. She's, right, she's, good. Like, she's good. Right. So it's she's a butch tough. little girl dog. Okay. Yeah, she looks like a boy. Now set up the clip here from Wickerman. Um, I, I, I haven't seen this movie. I know the original story. It's one of my favorites. It's just such a bizarre... Really creepy film. It's really... Well, no, creepy. I mean, but good creepy. Not like John Mark Carr creepy. No, I mean, no, no, good, good creepy. creepy. <laughs> good creepy. Good creepy. It's, let's, uh, let's see. Here we I are. I have let's an axe. Here we are. Okay. And um, Nicolas Cage is asking me about his uh, ex fiance's missing child, and we're on an island with all these women. Let's take a look. Hey, I meant to ask you in there do you recognize this girl? No. <laughs> What's happening here the day of tomorrow? You mean the day after tomorrow? It's kind of a strange way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I, I, I thought the other was a, a local expression. Mm, let's see, day after tomorrow would be May the 2nd. Well, nothing as far as I know. No, I, I mean tomorrow. What's happening here then? I told you. You did? <laughs> I... When you leave, will you take me with you? Lily Sobieski. Lily, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure.